name is Roy Haynes, and I am an extreme cheapskate. I live in Vermont with my wife, Lisa. The frugal ways that Roy has have allowed us to focus our time and effort on saving animals as opposed to having to go to a regular job every day, nine to five. Here they go. Go on, guys. I perceive myself as being very Roy Zorsful. It's worked out well for us. I love my husband, Roy, but boy, is he a cheapskate. Here we are in my kitchen, basic refrigerator. Show you one of the many ways that I save money. You'll notice the cherries have no stems on them. I pull them all off before I weigh them so I don't have to pay for the stems because you can't eat the stems. And these are grapes, which I do the same thing for. I pull the little vines off, save four or five cents each time. It's delicious. What I'm doing here is taking a piece of banana. Most people don't know that it makes an excellent device for shining your shoes with. My husband tries to stop me from spending. It's very annoying. This is my frozen assets. We have a credit card, but try not to abuse it. I freeze the credit card so that it's not easily accessible. And what I'm doing is thawing out the ice. And it's a lot of effort, so in order for my wife to use it, she has to put some labor into it. These are my paper towels that have been used and reused, and reused, and reused, and are still quite functional, as you see. They save about $100 a year in paper towels alone. Coffee is very expensive, so instead of using it freely, I kind of reuse it. And this one's gotten three or four cups out of it already, but I'm still not done with it yet. I have one more final use for it. Window cleaner costs probably around $3 a spray bottle. Well, I don't purchase it. I make my own out of the coffee ground. I shake it up. Although it appears to be dirty, you will see how clean it can get a window. I'm saving an additional $3 every month or so, which adds up to maybe $40, $50 a year. Clear as daylight. One of the ways that I save money in my bathroom for about five to six cents, I take one of those bubbling antacid tablets and I just drop it in the bowl and voila, sparkling clean. In the tank of the toilet, just insert a large stone or a brick and it replaces a great deal of the water. It saves about $8 a month. $100 a year. I have probably a lifetime supply of dental floss considering I reuse it. When I go to the dentist, I just ask for free samples and they're happy to give it to you. So I'll use it once or twice, make sure there's nothing clinging on, hanging on my clothesline. Ultimately, Roy's Roy and he's not gonna spend a lot of money even if I'm there. At the ice cream shop, I was expecting maybe a Sunday or something like that. Yes, can I help you, Paul? Hey, how are you? Hi. How about I try and see which ones I like? You have a little cup by any chance? Sure. Beautiful. We got chocolate, black raspberry. All right, I'll try some. Try what? The samples. One of each, maybe? Play One of each. Play it on a birthday cake? It's a big decision, you know. Did you want to taste? This is a birthday cake. Oh, birthday, birthday cake. cake. I didn't try that. What can I get you? Well, uh, what else you got? Another sample? Yeah. How do I know what I like unless I try them? Ma'am, are you with him? Yeah. I didn't feel too good that my husband was up there sampling, sampling, sampling. He looked really comfortable, and I was really uncomfortable. Beautiful. Thank you very much. What are you getting? I got these. I'm full now. 
So what is it gonna be? What are you gonna do? I'm a little full, thanks a lot. Well, they ain't paid for nothing. You just ate 14 samples. I thought you were getting real ice cream. It is real but ice cream. But it's samples of ice cream that you just hogged. <laughs> no, you can't come to a place like this and get samples. It was mortifying. She was less than happy with the free samples we got for ice cream. I saved money, but she wasn't pleased at all. Roy never wants to spend money, so we hardly go out. I came up with the great idea of a monthly date night so Roy and I could go out every month and get out of the house and enjoy ourselves together. It's date night, Roy. Again? We just had one. That was about 30 days ago. I have it down on the calendar. It took you somewhere expensive. Remember, I drove you to the gas station. I don't think that really counts as a date. <laughs> you got to take me somewhere. How about out to dinner? How about a, um, a boat ride? Boat ride? It's like $25 a person. You trying to kill me? You could spend some money. Spend 40 bucks or something. $40? It's $20 between two people. You could go somewhere really nice. Yeah, I'll think of something. Don't worry. Well, if you don't think of something, I'll think of something. Ooh. Either for tonight or next no, month. No, no, I'll think of it. I'll think of it. Come on. Let's go on our date. It's date night, Roy. We're getting an early start. Come on. Whenever I leave the house, I unplug all my electric appliances, whether it's the TV or the microwave or any lights that are not being used. Come on, Roy! Because even if they're not in the on position, they still draw electricity. By unplugging the appliances each time I leave the house, I figure I save about $15 to $20 a month on my electric bill. So over the course of a year, that's about $200. <laughs> Two for the matinee. I can't believe Roy brought me to the movies. I haven't been to the movie in I don't know how long. Oh, so nice. Are you hungry? Yeah, I told you I wanted something to eat. Pop so up. my, could I have a banana? It's a big waste of money to buy food at the snack bar or concessions in any movie theater. Here, keep it low. Yeah. People smuggle food into the movie theaters all the time. I don't like it, but they do it. By bringing my own snacks, I save at least another $10. Now it's time for my stuff. You said you didn't want the apple. I don't want an apple. I told you what I wanted when I came in. That I wanted uh, popcorn, candy, or a drink or something. Pretty insistent on that, all right, yeah. Well, I'm in a movie. All right, let me go throw this away. Lucky day, popcorn. Clean out this cup, it'll be good as new. I know this movie theater gives free refills with their popcorn and soft drinks, so I found a few containers in the trash and surprised my loving wife. Can't beat free. Surprise. Oh, look at you. And the straw, too. Oh, I was just going to ask you for the straw. I thought you probably wouldn't have gotten oh, one. Oh, come on. Well, nice. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Aren't you lovely? Yes, I am. I was shocked when he handed me popcorn and a soda. That was so unlike him. All in all, Roy's Roy. I love my husband, and he tries. I'm back. Can I just get a little refill on a popcorn? With some ice. Taking full advantage of your generosity. Gotta give him credit. He does save a lot of money, and he's all mine. Well, that turned out pretty good. 
I Thank knew you. you would like it. It was a good day. Yes, it was. I love my wife, Lisa, and I try to please her, and I do the best I can without spending any money. 